the National Youth Service Corps was established by Decree 24 of 22nd May 1973. The scheme is to inculcate in Nigerian youths the spirit of selfless service to the community, to emphasize the spirit of oneness and brotherhood of all Nigerians, irrespective of cultural or social background. Reverend Abayomi Oduwale's experience as a member of the first set of National Youth Service Corps in Nigeria left blood drops of selfless service in his vein. Thus, earn him a community champion for today. I was born 16th of August 1951, but uh, I attended several primary schools in Lagos, in Ibadan, in Iloni, in Ijebudi, and back to Lagos. Wonderful. For six years, six primary schools. And then I attended Ibadan Grammar School from 1962, 63 to 1969 with all my A levels. And I then read pharmacy at the University of Ife from 1970 to 73. I was the first set of NYSC in Nigeria, 1973-74. Then I served in the old Midwest. The old Midwest, which became Bendel and uh, now Edo State. And then I was there. Then, after the NYSC, I had several career opportunities, all from in, in pharmacy. And I retired ultimately from pharmacy. After 18 years, I moved on to, again, that you might think community, but non governmental organization. An NGO, I work for an NGO called the Society for Family Health. Currently, I'm a trainer and a consultant, management trainer and consultant. Reverend Oduwole, through his managerial skills, provides prerequisite support for the development of his community. Mudupe Community Development Association is an active CDA in Shomolu local government area. I have available facilities to train people for computer literacy. And severally, when we find out that we have people who can benefit from the literacy, computer literacy, we bring them in to train them. And this is something that can continuously, be, it's something that can go on forever. There are other things, of course, that one does normally for the community. And that is to ensure that there is welfare for everybody. For instance, if you go to that roundabout there, you will notice that there have been several accidents in that place because there is the weeds grew up in that roundabout, which grew up continuously. Now, I personally spend my money to make sure they clean that roundabout continuously so that cars will be able to have proper view of whoever is coming. As a counselor, his favorite quote is Bill Withers' lyrics, which says, we all need somebody to lean on. As it provides a shoulder for community members to lean on. When you have someone to lean on in terms of distress, then you know that in that community they are their brother's keeper. So that, that makes ownership of the community mandatory. So that the, the people see it as very important to, to stay in that community because it, it, it contributes to my well-being, to my welfare. My life. So it, it, I, I think in that regard, counseling has a vital role to play in that com in the community service that is rendered. The clergy has a unique approach to community activism. So we ask, what is the rationale behind this communal effort? It affected my humanity, my concept of humanness. Moving from one community to the other will tell me the, the, who, who gave me an, an idea about the differences between communities and how to how to to bring together or to merge the gap, how to, to, to fill the gap from one community to the other. That's true. That that has an impact upon my life. Now, for me, I seem to have a very low threshold. I'm easily touched by things, and in my environment, I cannot. I cannot accommodate things going wrong without wanting to intervene. It is not game saying that Oduwale has served a CDA wholeheartedly, but what are the remarks of community members? He has contributed a lot to the CDC in Shomolu. In fact, the issue of this advisory committee 
He is the one who championed the cause of having an advisory committee that will advise the CDC on what to do and that will not make them totally dependent on the government. So for the CDC to be, uh, to be functional. He's been very, very active. Uh, when, it, when in terms of uh, organizing the community during our meeting, during our activities, he's always there for us with his knowledge spiritually and um, academically. A lot of things that we don't even think of that can benefit us as a community. He always be there to give us, to highlight, uh, to encourage the community to advise on where and what to do for the development of our community. He's a very generous man that works with people in the community. If you don't have work, he will help you. He's a very generous man to everybody. Community activism requires adequate attention, hence the need for family members' support. All my children are married and are gone off. So I have four children and the four of them are married away. It's only my wife. So every time I spend outside the home for community service, leaves her alone. But that she understands because she had, we had hard time when I was working, when I was a marketing person, go off to work and all. So she's used to knowing that I will be off away from home and all. But I'm sure she feels it a great deal. It's a big, a big strain on her. According to him, Governor Akiwumi's leadership style of bringing governance to grassroots has direct impact in the over 3,900 CDAs in Lagos State. Governor Ambode has done some, is thinking outside the box in many of the areas of governance. And I want to give him kudos for that. He is not, he's not doing many things as business as usual. I want to give him kudos. I defend him everywhere I can that he is, he's paying more attention to community development than in the past. Paying a lot of attention in terms of subvention to the CDCs and what have you, in terms of opportunities, in terms of recognition, he's paying, which of course will lead to motivation, which of course will lead to performance anyway, invariably. I think he's doing a great deal in, in, in that area and I think he's doing a very good job. Thank you.